Okay, so I'm just gonna show you real quick. Does it look good? Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Boop. Hey Sunshiners, Alexis Sunshine 83 right here. Hello, hello, happy sunny day, what is up? So today's video, I am so freaking excited for it because I ended up purchasing a thrift store mystery box from the company Thrift Vintage Fashion after my good friend Carrie Dayton ended up purchasing a thrift store mystery box from them. I was just so intrigued with it just because if you guys don't know, I used to make thrift store mystery box videos all the time. I tried ones from ThreadUp, Good Fair, bulk vintage and then i kind of moved over to doing like aesthetic themed thrift store mystery boxes from depop and etsy and i feel like i know a thing or two about thrift store mystery boxes now and i will say it is quite a big risk i mean i've definitely tried some thrift store mystery boxes where i ended up hating everything you know you just don't know what you're going to get and i guess that's what makes it exciting so yeah uh like i said i bought this thrift store mystery box from this company and i ended up purchasing about four different thrift store mystery boxes within it because basically on their site they have you know different categories that either come with like three pieces six pieces they also have like pallets filled with vintage clothing in it that you can buy or like bulk where it comes by pound i definitely am going into it with the mindset as almost like comparing it to buying these pieces on depop especially when it comes to price because this is actually the most expensive thrift store mystery box i have ever bought again it's multiple mystery boxes within it but altogether i ended up spending about 178 dollars and that's what 20 percent off they ended up having a sale which was super awesome so it would have been even more expensive obviously if i wasn't making a video about it i probably would have only bought one which definitely then wouldn't have been the most insane price but just to make this video a little bit more interesting i wanted to buy multiple and i have a really good range of different types to kind of get the like vibe of what this online Online vintage store is all about. So let's get into unboxing this mystery box. Before we actually get into unboxing the thrift store mystery box, I'm gonna tell you obviously what I ended up purchasing. The first one I ended up doing is the Harley Davidson t-shirts, which comes with three tees that retails for 75. Oh, I didn't even realize that. Uh, $75. Now again, I did get 20% off, so it ended up being $60. Definitely my biggest advice for any thrift store mystery box is try to pick again the category where you would most likely like all the pieces don't go for very generic things like brand name tees because what what does that mean i was a little bit conflicted about if i should buy the harley davidson t-shirt mystery box or the animal tea mystery box and the reason why is number one i do like animals and number two the actual example photos of the harley davidson t-shirts for this mystery box I didn't really like you won't usually end up getting those pieces but it's to show like oh my gosh these are the amazing like Harley Davidson t-shirts you could get so I was like okay if those are supposed to be their best like what what am I going to get but I also was thinking about it in another way of okay if I end up not liking any of them technically I could put them on my Poshmark Harley Davidson t-shirts are a lot easier to I guess resell than animal t-shirts now I personally am not a reseller and I really don't thrift to resell. So this was more of like worst case scenario type of thing. And the next one I ended up getting was the Mickey and Disney sweatshirts. Now this was the same one that Carrie ended up getting. And I felt like the Disney sweatshirts that she got were good. I mean, I will wear any sweatshirt. This one was $65. Of course I got 20% off of it. It does come with three sweatshirts. I forgot to say in the Harley Davidson and the Mickey and Disney one, I got them in an extra large. It doesn't define if it's gonna be women's or men's sizing so I felt like an extra large was kind of good to cover those bases the next one I got was only $25 so yes the other like pricing can be very high it's more like the t-shirts and sweatshirts but this one was vintage women's blouses which comes with three shirts and I got it in a large and then the next one is like such a freaking risk but I felt like if anyone was gonna do it it was gonna be me which I bought their vintage 80s slash 90s women's jeans mix which was $20 I only did the one pair you could have paid $60 for three pairs but I don't really want to spend $60 for three pairs of jeans and I more just want to see what 
would come with it especially because it did say that they were going to be high rise and i was able to choose my size which i chose a 26. i'm just really curious to see like is it actually the cool like vintage denim that i personally am in love with and if it is to get that for only 20 dollars, that's a big deal now we are finally going to get into the thrift store mystery box <laughs> I'm actually pretty proud of myself that I do have a scissor to unbox this. Actually, the taping is really good on this. I think as I'm going through the items, I am gonna unbox everything and then do the try-on portion where I'm talking through my feelings because I mean, yeah, with t-shirts, you kind of know like if you like it or not just by looking at it, but I do wanna like try it on and then get kind of like my opinion. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you real quick. Does it look good? Oh, okay, the first one are some jeans. They are from Lee, and I will say the feeling of the denim is good. Like, it feels like a good vintage denim. If I saw these at the thrift store, I definitely would like pass it and then touch the jean and be like, ooh. So that's definitely a plus. And they are in a six lawn. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited they are in a lawn that's one thing as i was looking at them that I was kind of thinking in my head like oh my god what if they're too short because my height is in my legs and most vintage jeans are always just slightly too short so the fact that they are a lawn i mean just from like first glances it is what i would envision to be like 80s 90s vintage pair of jeans so i think we have then the harley da davidson um sorry one of the patterns in here is very interesting. This pattern right there, we'll, we'll get back to that. I think we have the Harley Davidson shirts here. The first one, um, I mean, it's not bad. It's in this navy and it just says bike here 2014. It's got a little skull on it. And then on the back right there, it seems good. Like, I don't know if I would wear this in the sense of like, and like in a video or something just because i usually tuck them in so where this graphic kind of stops right there like i mean i i guess i could i'm definitely not a lover of the color navy ironically even though i love denim and all that but it's just not a color i usually gravitate towards specifically in t-shirts so that's the only thing but truly like this is a, a, a harley davidson t-shirt it's what i bought then we have this one which says harley davidson on the front and then on the back oh it's a oh i don't really like cut off t-shirts they're just like not really my favorite i would have preferred just a normal like sleeve length i wouldn't say like this one's my favorite like the front the front graphic i do like but i just really don't like the sleeveless look so again very nitpicky just something personal and then we have a black one here um, that's very, very faded and it has a little pocket on the front. It just says Harley Davidson. It's not that I'm disappointed in them because they're Harley Davidson t-shirts, which is exactly what they were supposed to be. I definitely wouldn't say that these are, mm, it's difficult because I feel like Harley Davidson t-shirts do go for $25, but I personally don't think they are worth $25 each for a total being $75. Like, they're okay. All right, the next one are the vintage blouses. The first one is, oh, honestly, I feel like I need to style it to really give my opinion. I don't know why, but kind of far away, it looks like a piece of steak. It's like the colors that are really throwing me off, but it's by Miss Cambridge. And I don't know what kind of material it is, but it's a very interesting, like crinkly material. Then we have this floral one from Deshane. Yeah. This one seems nice. I honestly really didn't have any expectation for any of these tops. I think this is actually kind of cute. The next one, I, let me show you. Um, it looks like this and I'm just, I'm not vibing with the colors. I'm going to be completely honest. It is originally from Maricela and it just kind of reminds me of a clown. Probably the only one, even the steak meat button up, I would prefer that over this. Then lastly, we have the Disney crew necks. And this one, I probably have the highest hopes for, mainly because I feel like it's gonna be really difficult for me to be disappointed in like a crew neck. Um, but they may surprise me, who knows? The first one says Tigger on it, and it's just this gray, 
crew neck. Super cute, super fun. I'm definitely going to wear this. It's a great time. Oh my goodness, I see a Christmas Disney crew neck. How did they know? This one is so freaking cute. Are you absolutely kidding me? I mean, look at that. Oh my gosh, look at how cute that is. Oh! Literally, the place in my heart is Christmas crewnecks, and especially it being Disney, like, I'm dying. I think this one's honestly, both of them, I think are totally worth it. I'm gonna wear both of them, and especially this one, like, see me December 2022. I'm gonna be rocking this, like, every single day. And then, lastly, this one, I think, is going to be the only one I honestly don't really love only because the silhouette, honestly, I really just don't like. I'm quite surprised that they, I guess, kind of disappointed me. It's just this Mickey crew neck. It literally looks like it's from Forever 21. You know, Forever 21 crew necks, like, you know, you know what I'm talking about. That's what it kind of feels like. But yeah, it's fine. It's just really, really thin and I, I think I, I mean, I'll still wear it, but it's just not my favorite. All right, so yeah, let's now try uh, these pieces on. <laughs> This blue Harley Davidson t-shirt, honestly, I'm quite surprised how much I like it. I don't think it's like, again, the most interesting t-shirt, but like, it's nice. I like the fit, it's comfy. Overall, I think it is nice. Like, I'm, I'm gonna wear it. It's a piece that if it wasn't in my wardrobe, I wouldn't miss, you know what I mean? This one, I think I like the navy one a little bit better just because there isn't any type of like graphic except on the back and the little like pocket here, which it has a skull, I wish it was actually a graphic kind of in the middle versus in a little pocket. The little pocket is pretty cute, I cannot deny. Um, the feeling and the color I actually really like. It's a very comfy t-shirt. This one, honestly, I don't think it's bad. I just really don't love that it doesn't have sleeves. And I'm just kind of like, eh, about it. Like, I think it's cute. I just don't think I would maybe wear it as much. I think if anyone saw this at the thrift store, they would be super happy and buy it. And maybe even if I saw it at the thrift store, I'd be like, oh my God, Harley Davidson t-shirt. But like, realistically, there's just elements that I'm not like in love with. Um, but it's nothing like against the shirt. I think honestly the shirt is pretty good. It's just honestly the, the sleeve part, I kinda, kinda just hate that. This button up, I was a little bit disappointed because I wanted to like wear it completely buttoned and tucked in to jeans, but it's missing a button. It's not like the end of the world. I think it actually looks pretty cute like this and a really good kind of outfit combo for spring and summertime. But that's the only thing that I'm just like, oh, bummer. I'm honestly surprised how much I like it, even with black and white. I think it's just a piece that I definitely do not own anything like it with these colors, but I, I like it. Honestly, I'm quite surprised. I think I do like this button up. It's not that I thought I was gonna hate it. I just didn't know what it was gonna look like on me. I think it has cool like patterns in it and I think it's just a really nice breezy item. Really the material of this one and the other one is really nice in that it is so breathable. I can really just feel the breeze going up to my armpits. Um, even though there's not a breeze in here, but like air is going up into my armpits, which as a sweaty gal, that is definitely key for spring and summertime. I don't really know what to make of this one, to be honest. It's just the most interesting top I've probably put on my body. You know what it reminds me of is that like candy that's on a sheet of paper and it's like little dots with all these different colors. That's what I feel like right now. And I don't know how I feel about it. Uh, it's just an interesting top. I truly don't know when or where I would wear it, but it is a fun top. So maybe I just need to play around with it a little bit. Um, these pants fit me like a freaking glove. I am shocked. Like they fit me so well. They are so high rise. My only thing that I don't like is even though I said that I was happy that they were in a long, they're almost slightly too long where they're kind of bunching up. I feel like I could just off it a bit or I could just cut them or something and that would be totally fine. I thought this one was going to truly be a disappointment when I bought it and now I'm kind of like man I should have bought the three pack. This crew neck is so freaking cute. I am so obsessed with it. I love that it's 
says it's all about me um and i am totally feeling this i am so excited to own this crew neck so kind of the opposite with that harley davidson t-shirt i would miss this crew neck if it wasn't in my wardrobe <laughs> this crew neck is so freaking adorable and i think it could honestly work to be tucked in as well like it kind of covers the graphic but not in a big deal at all it's so comfy i am really really loving it i'm so excited to wear it this holiday ah oh my gosh it's so adorable and i really don't see stuff like this at the thrift store so definitely a unique piece and i'm really excited that now i own it this one's just kind of blah uh i mean i would say it's definitely an extra large in women's sizing you know how you can just tell by the fit and i'm telling you it feels like it was from forever 21 but it does have mickey's face on it. it is disney themed it's a crew neck it's again exactly what this mystery box is all about it's just the fit that i personally don't like which is totally okay i'm just really surprised with the other two being so good that of course then i got one that was a miss and it's not that it's a miss it's just like again personal preference all right, so I've tried everything on and overall, the entire time I was putting on the clothes and everything, I was really trying to think like, do I recommend this, you know, vintage site to get a mystery box from? And I would say it depends. I feel like, again, I already said it, you should be very picky when it comes to what kind of thrift store mystery boxes you do buy but i mean regardless you could end up being disappointed and with all the ones i got i don't think i was necessarily disappointed in any of them i was disappointed in maybe like one piece out of honestly every single one <laughs> i'm going back and forth in my mind to try to figure out if i think it's worth it or not because anytime i do a thrift store mystery box whether it's from like an actual like online vintage store or even from depop it's always very mixed and some Sometimes you'll say like, oh, I didn't like it. And then other people will be like, oh, but it was amazing. But then if you say, oh, it was great, then people will be like, no, that was terrible. Why, why did you say it was amazing? So I think I'm honestly kind of neutral in this, except for the jeans. I am blown away how well those fit. That was, again, like I said, the one that I really thought I was gonna be disappointed about, but I'm probably the most excited about that one. But I'm not sure if I would recommend it just in that I don't know if it's just because of the one that I ended up getting. I would be curious to try the three pairs, but I also don't really want to spend $60 on three pairs of jeans. But maybe if you have been searching for vintage jeans that are high-waisted, giving it a try, it's $20 for one pair, and I feel like that's actually pretty reasonable. The blouses, I think, were okay i think i would rather just get them on depop but i again that was more of a experimental of why not just try it i'm just gonna leave it at i had a good time and it went better than how i thought it was gonna go and leave it at that <laughs> let me know in the comments right down below which item was your favorite that i ended up getting and if you do like thrifting and secondhand fashion which you do because you literally just watched this entire video then make sure to subscribe right down below and hit that little bell to be notified every time i make a new video and also don't forget to follow me on instagram which is alex sunshine 83 thank you guys so much for watching i hope you have a super sunny sunday and i'll see you in my next video Bye!